Ascent off sap in plants. The flow of water and dissolved minerals from the roots to the leaves is called the ascent of sap. This physiological process is crucial for their survival, growth, and many vital activities of plants. It involves roots, stems, leaves, and many environmental factors. There are two hypotheses to explain the process of the ascent of sap. The two primary hypotheses explaining how sap ascent occurs in plants are the cohesion tension hypothesis and the root pressure theory. 1. Cohesion tension theory. Under this theory, water is pumped up via the xylem vessels from the roots to the leaves due to two forces, cohesive force and transpiration pull. The process of transpiration involves the loss of water vapor from leaves through tiny pores known as stomata. The forces of cohesion between water molecules form a continuous water column in the xylemic vessels. As water vapor evaporates from the leaf surface during evaporation, it causes negative pressure or tension on the xylemic surface. This tension causes water molecules to pull upward. This theory is accepted and proved both physically and experimentally. 2. The root pressure theory states that roots push the water from the soil to the leaves. Process, mineral ions are actively and passively transported to the root hair cells leading to a higher concentration of solutes in them. Water is pumped from root hair cells to other cells by osmosis until it reaches the xylem cells of the root. This push of water from the soil to the xylem cells and upwards to the leaves is responsible for the ascent of sap. The root pressure is more important when the soil moisture is high and the transpiration rate is low. However, root pressure alone cannot explain the long-distance water movement in tall trees, as Selachia the tallest tree, and is not universally accepted as the only reason to move water and minerals upward from the root system to the leaves. Let us study in detail. 1. Water plants need water and minerals to survive, and most of this water is taken from the roots. When the soil is wet, the water molecules in the soil are more concentrated than in the cells in the roots. This causes the water molecules to move from the root cells to the root cortex, where they move to the other parts of the plant. The root hairs that extend from the epidermal cell increase the surface area of the water, allowing it to be absorbed quickly. See the video The Hidden Dance of Soil Water, Unraveling Nature's Secrets. 2. Absorption of minerals Mineral uptake in plants involves the absorption of minerals from the soil in both active and passive processes. Mineral uptake in the roots of plants is in their ionic form. A. The entrance portal to mineral uptake is typically through the roots. Some mineral ions diffuse between the cells. Minerals cannot be absorbed through osmosis or diffusion due to low concentrations. Instead, minerals are absorbed by active transport using carrier proteins in the cell membranes. B. These proteins pick up mineral ions and transport them across the cell membrane to the cell against a cell against a concentration gradient. C. Active transport involves the movement of ions against a concentration gradient, energy is required. D. This energy is provided by the plant's root hair cells. 3. Cohesion force It's the force of attraction between and water molecules. A. The formation of this tension is called cohesion tension. Water also sticks to the walls of xylem vessels so that the water column doesn't break or fall. See the video Whispers of Light and Life, The Secret World of Stomata. 4. Adhesion force A force of attraction between unlike molecules, such as water and xylem vessels, helps to keep the water tube intact. A. This force is stronger than the van de Waal force and is responsible for the retention of the coulomb when the stomata are closed at night. It is the same force that allows water to climb tubes. 5. Transpiration pull A pull created by the leaf cells as a result of loss of water by the leaves due to evaporation when the stomata are open. A. Transpiration pull is a biological process a force of pulling, a negative pressure, is produced in the xylem tissue. B. Transpiration pull is also referred to as suction force, and this force is used to draw the water in an upward direction from the roots to the leaves. C. The amount of water received by the leaves is used for photosynthesis, 
and the excess amount of water is released into the atmosphere in the form of vapors through the openings in the leaves known as stomata. D. The pressure created by transpiration pull applies a force, 2 MPa in the The xylem of the leaves pulls water from the soil. E. Pressure depends on the relative humidity of the air the drier the air higher the pressure and at low relative humidity the transpiration pull is low. 6. Capillary column is created in the plants due to the forces of cohesion, adhesion, and capillary force that are continuous from the leaf to the root. 7. Osmosis. Osmosis is the process of transferring water molecules from a high concentration of water to a low concentration of water through a membrane that is semi-permeable due to a concentration difference. 8. Xylem vessels. The xylem acts are tubes, having many pores on its sides, and between them, a column of water is made to be pulled up. Mm -hmm.